Hello, it's Tony here. Today we're going to do the digital shading exercise number one. So, quick introduction to Klecky. Over here we have our toolbox. The first part over here we have our paintbrush to paint, obviously, our hand to move around our image. So we can move this simply around. Um, we have our zoom in, a zoom out, undo and redo. Right under the toolbox over here we have what layer we are working on. Then over here we've got our different types of brushes and we can choose our color over here. Then over here we have our layers which we're going to go a little bit more deeper today. Edit which is like filters in Photoshop. We're going to be using this one over here today. And then File. This is where we're going to put on our image. And here we're going to make it also nice and simple to save what we've done. So. We are going to click and drag our image over here. If you don't have the image, all you need to do is you can download it on the description below here on YouTube. So you're going to click over here, yes. Fantastic. So we put this down as an image. So our next step is we're going to go over here to layers and we're going to make a new layer. This layer we're going to put under our shading layer. That's our shading layer. It's a new layer, another one, another one, and another one. So four brand new empty shading layers. Now over here, we're going to double click on them. And then we're going to give it a name so we know exactly where we're working today. So this first one, we're going to call it solid shading number one. And name. This one, double click, solid shading number two. Over here. It's going to be graduated tone number one. And the last one, as you guessed, is going to be called graduated tone number two. Right, so we're going to click on this layer, and this is where we're going to be working right now on our very first exercise. So over here, the brushes. Now, we've got a couple of things. We're going to use this part over here, and we're going to shade this identical the part here right on top. So we're going to get our white by clicking over here and the size of the brush I recommend 40 opacity 100 right and we are going to shade it inside. Okay do this carefully fantastic. Now over here we have a color picker which is this one right over here we click once and you can see the icon changed of our cursor and we choose. So we've chosen exactly what we have as 25% dark. And then we do this. Fantastic. Again, our color picker. See our icons changed from the cursor. We click and we choose 50% dark. Oop, I've gone outside, I can undo. Oh, and I can do this again, do this nice and carefully. Fantastic. Now we're going to do our color picker. Now I'm going to show you a little trick on your keyboard. If you press Alt on your keyboard, the color picker comes out. We click, we let go Alt, and there you go. Now it's quicker, so we have less movements with our mouse. And then our last one, which one is over here, which is going to be black, 100% dark. I'm going to shade this in nicely. And bingo, we have done the first exercise. Good job. Next, we're going to go back to layers and we're going to click the shading uh, solid number two. We go back, as you can see here, the name has changed. So here we can always see which layer we are working on. Now we're going to do the next one, the next exercise, using the color. I like this kind of blue, kind of over there. So I'm going to choose my tint right over here. As you can see, it. this is what I've chosen. And I'm going to start painting over here. Fantastic. 
next our 25% dark is approximately here Maybe this one I'm going to show you another trick if I do a click and I press shift on my keyboard and I press click again holding shift down it makes a straight line to my next point where I'm clicking you see how fast that was fantastic I'm going to do this now on the next one also I want to choose that 50% dark which is round about here you see it's a shade a little bit nice and straight perfect so click shift I keep shift pressed down and I click you see click press shift holding it down and click right as simple as that we can make straight lines now my 70% 75% dark let's round about over there yes there we go fantastic now let our last one we're not going to do black because otherwise we won't have like a nice sh uh, shade of blue so we're going to choose round about here and over here you can choose any color you want the main idea is that you understand how to shade using your color using tint when we add on white when we add on gray remember its tone and by adding on black it is shade fantastic good job now we're going to go back to our layers and we're going to click on our layer graduated tone number one so here we're going to change the type of brush that we are using this brush we're going to go this one and this one's called the blend brush so over here in the graduated tone we have two techniques we have the paintbrush technique and the blur technique first we're going to do the paintbrush technique so we're going to choose white now the idea to do this one on over here our blend brush we need to make sure that we have size 80 opacity 100 and blending 0 to start what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this section when we do white is approximately one third of our box one third there we go and then black is going to be another one third of our box okay this is approximately if the line's not too straight don't worry too much and then remember we press out to get our different grays so we've got one approximately over here then our 50 percent and then our 75 percent and bingo we're done now this is the fun part our blend brush we are going to bring the opacity down this is how soft the edges are and we're going to bring the blending up to 100 and what we're going to do right over here where we have the two we are going slowly with patience by clicking here we get this nice beautiful graduated top can you see that okay over here over here there we go and we blend it and now this one blending i'm going to do this with patience and there we go fantastic you have now done the paintbrush technique for graduated tone now we're going to go and change our layers for the last exercise, which is going to be the graduated tone number two. We're going to go back to our brush. Now here we can use again this blend brush if we want to. We're going to put opacity back at 100 and we're going to put blending down to zero. Again, so white, except for this one, we're going to try to do them in equal parts. When we're shading, please make sure you're shading far outside from inside the box. Okay, this is the complex part of this technique. Okay, now I'm going to press Alt on my keyboard. You can see I'm shading 
very far. Next, out. There we go. Next one, out. Click. And now I'm going to go to my black. There we go. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about by saying I'm reshading very much into the edges. Over here, my layer one. This is the exercise sheet which I put over here. If I bring down the opacity, you can see what's behind. And you can see how much I did my blur technique, how far I went outside. Okay, I can see I'm missing a bit on this one over here. So I'll just quickly fix that. And there we go. Now, the little problem with the blur technique is that it is a bit hard to control. So we're going to later on, if you need to, you're going to have to delete what you've done. So here I can quickly check. Yes, that looks fantastic. Right now, I'm going to go to edit. And this is just like in Photoshop, which is the filters. We have all these different ones. And we're going to use one today and called triangle of blur. Here, we're going to put this to 100. And it's going to affect only the selected layer which we are over here, the graduated tone number two. Click OK, and bingo, look at that. Oh, now black, we need it a bit more towards the bottom. We can fix this quickly, going to black, and we are going to paint that. And there we go, it is done. Thank you very much for paying your attention to all this. It should take you approximately between 10 to 15, maximum 20 minutes to get this done. Good luck very much, and uh, I'll see you guys for the next one. Goodbye. Oh, before I forget, you have to save this, file, save, and you're done. Goodbye.